respirations. So, what is bradyapnea again? Yeah, tachyapnea, tachypnea. I guess I say it always weird, and everyone else does too. Um, what's the normal, Courtney? Twelve to twenty. Perfect. That's good. Okay. So, what do you think are some things that would cause your heart or your breathing to go down? Just some things that you've even noticed in your life. Or to go down. Mm -hmm. Sleeping. Like Sleeping. Relaxed yep. State. Relaxed. Relax. Drugs. Uh, what about alcohol? Alcohol, it could, yeah. Yeah, alcohol makes your heart rate go down because depressant. it's a depressant. Exactly. Some drugs are depressant, go down. Alcohol, does that, that could make some people's heart race if they're... If they react to it, but most of the time, because alcohol like, is, is medically like a depressant. Yeah. So yeah. And then something to make your heart rate go up, just, you know, exercise. It's kind of like it goes along with blood pressure, or um, pulse a little bit. Those things would also make you go up, too because your heart needs more oxygen, so you're breathing more. Yeah, exactly. So, what do you guys know what the breathing system, what regulates it? It's carbon dioxide. So like, when you, when you hold your breath, the reason you have to breathe is because you have a buildup of carbon dioxide that needs to be expelled. So it's not as so much the oxygen, it's the carbon dioxide. And so what's hypo, hypo, um, hypoxemia? Hypoxia. Low yeah, and then there's this one. Sorry, I'm gonna stand in front of it for a second. And so, emia is blood, so it's low levels of oxygen in the blood, which is different from this because it's respirations. But if you're gonna have hypoxia, you're gonna have hypoxemia most times. I think hypoxia was from. Hypoxia is low respirations, low oxygen, yep. In O2 sets? They're mm -hmm. both the same. Yeah. Okay. Um, because if you're having low respirations, you're not getting as much oxygen in there. Okay. So hypoxia is more low oxygen, but that could be a cause of low respirations. Does that make more sense? Yeah. Okay. And then this other term, I don't even really know how the correct way to say it. Eopnea. And that is just us right now. Normal resting breathing. So, and for normal. And then when you do an assessment on respirations, you look at like if they're breathing shallow, which is like <laughs> they're not really getting any deep breaths in there. If they're breathing short or really long, so you just make sure you assess those two. So, so hypoxemia, that was low blood? Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah, because um, emia means blood. So low O2 in blood. Good job. I don't know, <laughs> euopnea? Normal breathing. And I think I remember in one my year we had a question, I don't use that word. And so it just means normal breathing.